Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fantastic. Thanks for joining me for another card tutorial. Today we're playing with pattern paper. If you missed my last few cards from the DSP Paper Play series, it's all about sketches and pattern paper. Today we're using a sketch from Retro Sketch. This is Retro Sketch number 18, and I was browsing through their blog. And I'll leave the link to their blog on my blog, but oh my gosh, they have lots of inspiration with their sketches, and then they also have tons of sketches, hundreds. And so you'll be seeing me use more of those sketches for this series. Now we're going to use pattern paper. How I like to store it is just a Ziploc bag. I cut the Ziploc part off and then store them upside down. That way all my scratch pieces stay intact. Um, it's an inexpensive way to store my pattern papers. But let's grab some paper here. I think this is going to make a great background. And then I need um, four pieces of pattern paper where I can create some squares. We're going to create one and three quarter inch squares. So I'm just trimming down some paper that's about that size. And then I'm also going to take um, a piece of teal colored pattern paper to create a border with. We're going to bring in the paper trimmer and create our background using this pattern paper. Um, we're going to create a landscape style card. So this panel is going to measure five inches by three and three quarters. Next, we're going to trim down one inch piece of this pattern paper. That's going to be a border we're going to create. And then with these smaller pieces, this is a great way to use scraps too, guys. Um, go through your scrap bin and you could create the same effect. Um, I'm using my paper trimmer and making sure I have a one and three quarter inch square. We needed a perfect square for my card today. I thought it would be fun to create little envelopes. They're so easy to make. I know there's envelope punches out there and I know there's envelope dies, but um, creating envelopes is super easy. Here's how I do it. I have that little white piece of cardstock. Now that measures one and a quarter inch by three quarter inches. That's going to fit perfectly on the inside of this square that I'm placing on my grid mat um, at a diamond shape. I'm going to go ahead and add a little tape behind this little piece of white cardstock. Again, it measures one and a quarter inch by three quarter inches. That's going to go in the center of my square. And I removed the tackiness because we're going to pick it up and do the rest of the squares like this. Now this part is so easy, guys. You just fold the edges over that little piece of white cardstock. That white cardstock is gonna keep it centered and it. I found it's the easiest way to make an evenly proportioned small envelope. <laughs> I mean, to reinforce those score lines, I'm just using my bone folder. But um, this envelope is a non-functioning um, envelope. Um, I don't think you'll be able to seal the edges because um, the left, right, and bottom, when you fold them over, there's not much room to seal them together. But it creates a faux envelope that's just cute for little cards. <laughs> Here I'm doing the same thing, placing that white piece of cardstock in the middle, folding over those edges, and then we have a cute little envelope. We'll just take that cardstock out and finish off the rest of them, and then we'll reinforce those score lines so they lay flat on our card. Okay, there's our little envelopes, easy peasy. Um, I wanted to create little notes for the inside of these envelopes. So we're gonna take some white cardstock. Scrap pieces work great. And I just need it slightly smaller than the width of my envelope. So we're just gonna eyeball it and, and just trim it with my scissors here. We need four pieces. I thought it'd be cute to add some little sentiments on the inside of these little notes with the little letter sticking out. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring in a stamp set. The stamp set that I'm using is from Simon Says Stamp. And it, it and CC designs. Um, it's called Clean Line Every Day, and I like this set because there's a big sentiment, and there's itty bitty ones that coordinate with it. Um, the itty bitty ones I thought would work perfect for the inside of my little envelope sentiments. So we're taking four different ones. I took You Are in My Thoughts, Peace to You. I took So Very Much, and then also Be Well. And we're going to have all of these sentiments stamped and then we're going to put them on the inside of our envelope. Now to close the envelope, it's super easy, guys. You just flip over your sentiment note card here, add tape, tape it on the inside of the envelope, add some more tape to the top of that note, and then fold over the flaps. This is why it's a non-functioning envelope. <laughs> I'm kind of cheating a little bit. 
but it looks just like an envelope. I have adhesive on the outside of my envelope, so I'm trying to remove it with my, I have tape runner on the outside. So we're just fixing it. And then I'm curling up the edges of our little note on the inside for a little dimension. Just tape the back side, tape it on the inside of your envelope, add tape to the top of your note, and then fold those Fold the right, left, and bottom over, and it creates a quick and easy note card. I mean, it took all but two minutes. <laughs> okay, they're all done, and I think they look cute. Some of them, uh, the notes on the inside, I put wonky, too, just for a little playfulness. We're going to add foam adhesive behind each one of these, and then we'll set those aside and work on our background. We're going to start off with our background panel and grab our um, corner rounder. We're going to use the half-inch side and round off that top right corner here. And then with this strip, we're gonna bring in a scallop uh, border die. The one that I'm using has stitch detail and um, it's from MFT. We're gonna trim off the strip before we die cut um, our scallop on it. That way it's ready to go. But um, I'm not sure if the, the these scallops are available. In fact, that's the thing about my um, DSP paper play series. Um, some of the items that I have are very old and I can't link to them, but I think you guys can improvise if you have a scallop punch. I think that would work great. Any kind of scallop border, any kind of border would work for this effect. Okay, I'm going to tape this down to the very bottom. And again, this is a one inch strip. And then I'm going to go ahead and run this through the die cut machine. And I've gotten questions about my die cut storage, guys. I actually created a page on my blog where um, it's a step-by-step -step page where I show you what I use, the envelopes, and how I create them. Um, and I'll link it down below in the description area of this video, too, in case you guys want to check that out. But a lot of questions on my stamp and die storage, and um, I thought it'd be helpful if I added a page to my blog. <laughs> There's still shots of these this card today over there too. Okay, we're gonna stamp our sentiment. Our scallop border's all ready to go. Um, I chose the sentiment says "Miss You Today," and we're gonna stamp it with some brown ink. I'm using a Fun Stamper's Journey um, um, cocoa powder ink. It's a real pretty brown, and we're gonna stamp it towards the left, but not all the way to the end. We'll stamp that, lovely. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim this down a little bit more. I think it's a little too wide. And then we'll go ahead and adhere that to our scallop panel. We're gonna trim off the excess, but before we add foam tape to it, I thought we'd accent it with some brown twine. I thought the brown sentiment with the brown twine would just set it off. So we're gonna wrap the twine around our sentiment piece twice. And that's the nice thing about the curves on the scallop the edge is you can tuck that twine in between each one of the little scallops and it fits perfectly. <laughs> We're gonna secure the bow towards the top a little bit. Just trim the twirls and they're ready to go. We're gonna add a piece of foam adhesive behind here and this is gonna go on the very bottom of our panel. We'll just remove the release paper and add this to the very bottom. Before we add our little envelopes, we're gonna flip this panel over and add foam, um, fun foam. I have lots of fun foam and it's adhesive back so I just have to add adhesive to one side. We're gonna go ahead and corner round our card base, which is a standard A2 size card base using that same half inch size. We'll add this panel in the center. Lovely, we're going I removed the release paper off of each of my envelopes and we secured them just above the sentiment, kind of fluffing up our little um, notes on the inside. Now I thought it needed a little bit something, so I'm bringing in some heart dies. These heart dies happen to be from Lawn Fun. And I'm taking the two smallest ones and we're gonna die cut them out with that scratch piece of cardstock from the scallop border. And then I just pop them up with foam adhesive and place them right above the bow there. And I think that's just what it needed. For finishing touches, I'm gonna go in with a little sparkle. This is uh, Ranger's Diamond um, Stickles, and that finishes off my card, guys. Have a fabulous day. Thanks so much for joining me. We will see you again real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>